Looking for a folding bike that would fit in the back of my Tesla, I found this almost new full suspension folding bike. You can see it's got rear suspension and it's got front suspension. This is going to be a great little bike once I get it all cleaned up. Some of the benefits of a folding bike are space saving. You can take them on an RV trip, put them in the trunk of a car, and you don't need to worry about racks, hitches, that type of stuff. Uh, secondly, any type of easy traveling you do, with a folding bike, you could probably put two or three of them in, in a large trunk. Uh, whereas on some bikes, they're so cumbersome, you might just be able to get one bike in there. And then the other thing is theft, uh, theft risk. So if you have a folding bike, normally you're gonna keep them inside. And also, even if you're sitting at a cafe, you could actually fold the bike up and just have it next to you. Whereas if a bike is, you know, all together, they're ready to go, a thief could just jump on it. Whereas if the bike's folded up, he's got to, you know, work to get to it. Um, some of the drawbacks are a little bit bumpier ride because they usually have smaller wheels. And this bike mitigates that with the dual suspension. Another way you can mitigate a bumpier ride is putting a little bit bigger tires. This bike has 1.5 inch tires. I'm gonna put 2.2 inch tires on it, which will give it more comfort. And they are a little bit slower with those smaller wheels also. I tried and tried to get the bike to fit in the front trunk of the Tesla and it almost fit, but the handlebars uh, wouldn't let the trunk close probably two or three inches I needed. So what I had to do was actually put the bike in the rear hatch area, which is huge because it's like 27 cubic feet or something. Um, but this bike will fit most anywhere. Another neat reason to get a folding bike is they make great e-bike conversions. So you can take an electric motor, you can get a hub mounted electric motor in a 20 inch wheel. So you can have a, either a rear hub or a front hub, or you could even go mid drive, meaning you put the electric motor uh, in the bottom bracket or it would replace the bottom bracket and because the folding bikes are 20 to 25 pounds, you really don't need um, a huge battery. So you can just put that battery right on the, the uh, water bottle mount. And you're talking a 35 pound e-bike, which is actually pretty light. Some e-bikes are 70 pounds. Um, you can see in the Tesla trunk just how large it is. And when I put this e-bike in, it doesn't really take up a lot of room. One of the secondary reasons I'm going to use this e-bike is if I'm ever at a charger and I just want to tool around, I can just leave the car charging and then tool around. There's a lot of free chargers that are a little slower, but they're free. So you could just park the car and then just bike around a little bit. The bike pedals pretty easily. I was surprised at how easy it is to ride compared to a a normal 26 inch wheel or even 29 inch wheel bike you would think the 20 inch wheels would give you um, a really subpar ride but I really don't think that's the case you should really test one of these out now using this with the kids trailer is something a lot of people don't do but I think it makes perfect sense because you can fold up the trailer uh, and also fold up the bike and then put that into a small car versus having to get a huge truck for a, you know, a couple big bikes and a, a, a kid's trailer that doesn't fold up. I'm using a Burley uh, trailer, which the wheels come off and the whole trailer collapses, which is really neat. I hope this overview gave you some insights on folding bikes. They're very handy and they do meet a specific need. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Have a great day and remember to get out there and ride.